This is the story of Tal Brody, a Jewish college star who gave up a career in the NBA to bring professional basketball to the Holy Land. Jersey in the United States and uh, I was very lucky in my neighborhood uh, going through elementary school there was a lot of basketball courts we had a lot of basketball players when I went up to junior high school we had a good team we played in the city league and Trenton Central High they took the best players of all the junior high school teams and, uh, our team was good and uh, we went on to win the New Jersey State basketball championships uh, 24-0 we didn't lose a game and I think even after 50 years, nobody has beaten that record. I chose the University of Illinois. I went up and started with uh, four seniors on that team, and we were one of the best teams in the nation. We were number three in the nation. We won the Big Ten Championship. Let's hear it one more time for the 1963 Big Ten Championship team and for all-time great Tal Brody. He was uh, an All-American basketball player. Uh, the, the teams beat some of the best teams in the country. They were the Big Ten champions. And so Tal Brody was always a basketball legend uh, for any, any young uh, fighting line basketball fan in those days. Being selected by Sporting News as one of the ten best players in the United States. And to be in the company of players like Bill Bradley, Billy Cunningham, Rick Barry, Jerry Sloan. But it was a great honor then to be chosen the 13th in the draft of 1965. My personal desire to play NBA ball, everything was in front of me. All of a sudden I get this letter from the Maccabean committee that they invite me to join the United States team to the 7th Maccabea Games in Israel. So when I went to Israel, everything changed. All my goals in life when Maccabi Tel Aviv. I think I'm going to play one year in Israel, see if I could take this team to another level. And I came to Maccabi. And I asked, uh, you know, like, uh, why is everybody in yellow? In order to identify with all the Jews that were killed in Europe, all the Jews that had to wear the yellow star during that period of day, that their memory is not forgotten. Their memory is going forward with every success of Maccabi Tel Aviv. As the season started and we got past the first round, our team started to roll. So after that first fabulous year, which basketball was revolutionized in Israel, I saw the spirit, I saw what was happening to the country, and then I said, well, you know what, I'm going to come back for a second year. David against Goliath. The big bear of Russia against Israel. Up to 1977. The Russians refused to play in the European Basketball Championships because they didn't want to come up against Israel. The Russians that year, they decided they're going to play in the European Championships. And they had a great team. They beat Real Madrid. Everybody knew that they were picked to take the European Basketball Championships. Now the Russians uh, made a mistake that the government didn't let them come to Israel. And they didn't let us come to Moscow to play them. But they chose a very small town, Verton in Belgium, and a very small court. They didn't realize that every Israeli that could find it, every Jewish person in Europe and the States that could find this place, Verton, won't miss this game. When we lined up and we walked into the gymnasium, they knew that they're going to lose the game. The spirit was amazing. How was it? Israeli flags singing Chavenu Shalom Aleichem, Am Yisrael Chai. The spirit that was there took us forward. We won 91-79. And as that game finished, the crowd just poured onto the floor, raised up the players on their arms. As I was going afterwards to the locker room, Alex Gilladi puts that microphone in my face and he says, Tao, what do you think of this game? 
And that's what I said, that we are on the map, we're staying on the map, not only in sport, but in everything. And when we came back to Israel, and over 150,000 people that were waiting for us in the town square, just to celebrate that victory. I knew that I made the right decision in making that decision of taking a year out of my life, which already turned to 47 years, which I would never regret. Going around, going around and seeing the crowd and the spirit. Now you can pre-order The Ambassador, an autobiography by Tal Brody.